Hi, welcome to the Tech Prepared Online Training. In this session, we are going to see how to install and uninstall app packages using PowerShell. Let's open the PowerShell. PowerShell needs to be uh, open in the NAS administrator. Now there are uh, app command lines. For installing it, you need to run the add hyphen app client package. This is the command. And then here you need to browse the path. Path of your app file. My app package is located on desktop. So you need to provide the path of this dot appv file. Just provide it. Then it is going to install the app package. Okay, once it is installed, you see that as of now there are no shortcuts are created. When if you go and look at the start menu, here you don't see any app package, sorry, any uh, paint application. There are no such shortcuts exist. Still, I mean, your app package is installed, but you still you don't see it because it's not published. The moment you publish it, then it is going to give you the shortcuts. You can publish using the name of app package. That you can take it from the above screen. Just paste it. And there are, you can do publishing either global or to the user. Global means for all the users. If you don't provide the global, that will publish to the current user. Then run it. Now it is done. Let's go and see on the desktop. Now you see the shortcut is published. For the first command, application was installed. For the second command, the shortcut is published. Now, where is this package installed? Every app package will be installed to the C program data inside of it app. Here it will be created with the package ID and then version ID. Now you can see here each and every file is marked as cross. Why? Because this file is installed and published, but it is noted downloaded to the use. You just go and right click, you can see the properties. Here it shows you that the size of the file is 4 KB on the disk, but the actual size is 1.6 MB. It means it's not fully downloaded to the machine. For each and every file, it has only the 4KB occupied on the machine. This is called shared content store because the shared content is enabled on this machine. That's where it's not fully downloaded. When it is going to be downloaded, it is going to be downloaded the moment when you launch your shortcut. I'm launching the shortcut. Now you see, slowly, it's one, one by one, the file is getting downloaded. There is no cross mark now. Why? Because your shortcut is fully loaded. I mean, once the shortcut is launched, all the files are loaded. Right? So this is what installing 
and publishing your FP package using the PowerShell command. Now, how to uninstall it? The same way you have to do in a reverse manner. First unpublish, then remove it. For unpublish, you have the command lines unpublish hyphen of the client package. Then again, you need to give a name of it. Of course, now I don't remember the name. So what shall I do is, let's run the get hyphen of the client command, which is going to give you the, the list of packages installed on the machine. From there, I can get the package name. Okay, just click enter. Now, this is the package, it is uh, installed. Take the package name and unpublish it. How do you unpublish? Using the name. I have published it globally, so I need to publish it, unpublish it globally. Now the package is going to be unpublished. Now you just look at here, the shortcut is removed, unpublished. But unpublished is nothing but just only removing the shortcuts. But the package is still available. If now let us see, the unpublished is completed. But it doesn't mean that the application has been completely removed from the machine. The only the shortcuts are removed that you can see it here. There is no shortcut now. But if you go and look at the uh, program data, still you see that the folder is exists. The entire application is still available on the local machine. Why? Because it is just only unpublished but not removed. The moment when you do a remove, then the application will be completely removed. So how do you do that? Just do a remove hyphen api client package then you can just provide the name of it. What is the name of it? It's a MS Paint. Take a copy of it. Right? Now, if you look at here, this is going to remove the package. Yes, now the package is removed. If you go and look at here, now I don't see the package. It is available, right? This is how you need to uninstall the package. Install the package. Publish the package. Now go to the same program app data. App key. If I want to load this package completely, what you do is you have a command called mount. Mount happen hyphen api client package, then you just give a name of it. Then the package name, click enter. The package is now downloading to the local machine. the package will be available to use. If you look at here now, each and every file, now it's been fully loaded. So without even launching the shortcut, I could do this. How do I do it? You just need to run the command called mount. This is going to load, it's going to mount the entire package on your local disk. So this is how it works. Now, there are some other frequently used command that is like if I want to open the virtual bubble of uh, paint.
as of now i don't see any paint uh, related registry keys here right if i close it and if i go if i want to open the virtual bubble of uh, ms paint you just need to run the command called star hyphen rp client package then you need to use uh, uh, parameter is rp client object this is a command that you need to remember now i am trying to access virtual bubble of ms paint so what is that i am trying to access virtual bubble registries right so you need to provide an exe of registry just reg.exe now this is going to launch registry now you can look at here the paint now i can see it when i open it from the local machine i could not see the paint because the paint is virtually installed so how how i am able to access the virtual bubble i need to run a command called start hyper virtual process which is going to open the virtual bubble of your application right this is how i can open it now if i want to look at are there any kind of virtual bubble is opened what you do is just type get hyphen app client sorry app app virtual process the moment you click on enter it is going to list out are there any virtual process running as of now there is no right if i open the paint application the paint is going to open now okay now we see paint is open let's run the same command it's going to list you that there is a one app application is running in the background that's a paint this is how you can run the command to know how many virtual process running in the background okay now if we want to stop it how do you do that i don't want to close this virtual application but i want to stop on active process so normal process you need to give a id of it you can give anything either name id whatever you see there you can give any one of them let me give an id here 7992 is going to kill now you see paint is close if you want to see it again let's type get hyper now we don't see the process running this is how you need to do it right so the commands which we usually run in app 5.0 is add hyper app client package and then publish hyper app client package then you need it you may need your small hyper app client package this is all something you made it at the time of install right now i use get hyper get hyper app client package this is to list of the installed app packages on the machine now you have to do the reverse way of uh, removing it how do you do it's unpublished app client package then remove app client package in between if you want to open your virtual bubble start hyphen app virtual process that's a command now you use if you want to know what are the services running in the background you just get hyphen app virtual process 
if we want to stop a service sorry any process stop hyphen process so these are the main commands that we use in appfi got it okay. thanks for watching this video